Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm be showing you how to put multiple videos on top of one another in Adobe Premiere Pro. And what we're also gonna be going over is how to animate those videos once they're on top of each other. So it's gonna create something like this. Uh, you can do this with a newscast, but I kinda just did it with four videos, and you can see that it comes out here, and then it goes back in. It doesn't actually do that glitchy, but when it goes full screen with four of them, it kinda messes up a little bit. But you can see the effect right here. And then you know you just have a comeback rate like that. And that is basically what we're gonna be creating today. So let's get started. We're just gonna go up to File, New, and then Sequence like we normally do, create a sequence, and then we're going to cl click our four pieces of footage here, drag them in, whoops, drag them in, and then we're just going to change the sequence settings so that they match. And now we can get started. You'll see that they put them all in a line. So what we actually wanna do is put them on top of each other. And notice that it's destroying the audio beneath it. So if you need the audio, make sure that you adjust that accordingly so it doesn't destroy the audio as you do it. But we're not gonna be using the audio, so once we have all four of our pieces of footage right here, what we're going to do is we're going to then erase the audio down here. So we're gonna hold Alt and click on these, and that'll allow you to just select the audio instead of the top right here. So we'll hold Alt, click that, hold Alt, click that, and it looks like we accidentally grabbed a duplicate right here, so I'm gonna drop that one out, and then we're going to drag in, I think, let's see, 491. 303 is the one in here. So we're gonna drag in 479 right there. And now we are good to go. So now that we have all of our footage right here, you'll see that they're all on top of each other, so all we see is the top left one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this one and we're gonna to go to Effect Controls. We're then gonna go over to Effects and then down to Video Effects, Distort, and Transform. Now you might be thinking, why don't we just use the Transform tools up here, the position, the scale. That's because we want a little bit more control and we want the ability to add motion blur. And this also allows you to copy and paste it, which makes things quicker. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this, we're going to drag it here, or we can drag it up here as well. And then once it is dropped in here, we are then going to drop the scale down. I'm going to say somewhere around 53. That kind of gets about a one-fourth blend. But since it's 16 by 9, it can kind of get hard to get that perfect one-fourth. Maybe there's a perfect number out there, but 53 works for my purposes. So then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the position so that I can put it up into the top left here. So we're going to do that. We're going to put it right up there in the top left. We want to have it move over just a little bit so it's directly down the center of the screen. And that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the transform. We're going to hit Control C or on a Mac con Command V. And you can also right click right here and go to Copy. And then we're going to go to the next piece of footage. We're going to hit Control V. And you'll see that that one disappeared. That's because now it's in the exact same position. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the position. Whoops, not the Y. We need to move the X over. And we want to make sure that the edges are lined up and there isn't some bleed in like that. We want to make sure that it's all the way out right here. And then we're going to take the... Uh, it's still copied, so what we can do is just go to the next one and hit Command V again to paste it again. Then we're going to drag the Y down right here and do the same thing. Make sure there's no bleed. Line it up and then do it for our last footage as well. Click on that one, go over, and then we're going to go over some and then down some. I want to make sure all of these line up. And then just slide it into place. And now suddenly we have these four videos all playing at the same time right here. And so that is basically the way you'd put a video on top of another video is you just have one beneath it and then the one above it. And then you can use the transform or the motion up here to shrink it down using the scale and then position it where you want to. Now then, the reason we chose the transform is for this next portion of the effect and that is we wanna take this video and make it large and then have it go back. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this video we're gonna to get to the point where we wanna make it large, and we're going to click the position and the scale. And we're gonna make sure those two are keyframed. We're then gonna move forward, I don't know, maybe like 20, 15, 20 frames. The closer you are, the faster the animation is gonna be. And then we are going to make the position go up here. So we're going to, actually, we're gonna make the scale go to 100, and you'll see it gets back to normal size. And then we're gonna move the position back over so that it fits into the here, we might need to add just a little bit of scale here, so maybe like 105, and then there we go. Now it's fitting full screen, and you'll see that now we have this transition where it hits there and it zooms up, and maybe we wanna make that just a little bit quicker. That was kinda of slow, maybe like really quickly. Comes in, and there we go. Now it's full scale, and then what we can do is we can take the inside, 
copy these keyframes, Control C V, and then copy the back keyframes like that. Highlight them, then hit Control C. Move over five or ten ish. Drop them back down. Click on here, Control V, and now we have it go in and then back down to the original size. And so then that's how we do the animation. But now, why do we use the transform tab? And that's because we want to add a little bit of motion blur to this. Motion blur usually makes any motion look better, makes it look more fluid, it makes it feel better. So we can do that. We can go down here and we can uncheck the use composition shutter. And then this is sort of like your scale of how much motion blur you want. So we can increase that here. And you'll notice the line right here goes red. And that means that we're using something that's graphics intensive. And if you have a strong computer like mine, you'll see that nothing really changes while it's doing this. However, if you're running a slower computer, it might start glitching and lagging in here. So all you gotta do is click the enter key and you'll see that it'll actually render these frames out so that you can use them in real time. We're gonna go ahead and cancel that though. Uh, it'll go green after you do that and then it'll just go back to being able to play normal like the rest of this footage. Anyway, now that we have activated that shutter angle, you'll see that we have a little bit of motion blur. So let's get it to right there. You can see that there is blur along the edges as it's moving. And you can see that if we increase this, the blur gets more or less, so you can know you can really bump this up and make it like a really sort of smooth motion to it. Like that, and now it sort of has that like fun sort of feel to it. And you can also do kind of neat things here, is you can adjust the velocity of this to make it, you know, have some fun. Like so if we right click here, we can uh, temporal, temporal interpolation, we can ease it in, ease it out, and do just sort of fun keyframe things to this to sort of make it flow better. And that's why I like to use the transform tab instead of the one up here is because we get that sort of effect to it. And now you see that it has this really neat sort of modern look to it with those really fast uh, motion blurs on them. But that is how you do that. This is how you put a bunch of pieces of footage on the same composition. You can use this to do, like I said, like new sort of things. You can do it to do something like this or have like a wall of videos and have one come out to, uh, to start playing. It's a really, really versatile effect and something that I think is really awesome to know. That is it on this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below, uh, questions or comments. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content, focusing on Premiere Pro, but branching out into all sort of the Adobe realm. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. And until next time, see ya.